My name is Carissa Nath, and I'm the meat scientist for AURI. Welcome to this series of introductory HACCP videos. You will see that there are eight total videos in this series. HACCP is a very integral part of the overall food safety system within food processing. We need to prevent food safety hazards from occurring by putting control measures into place. And then proof of control helps to ensure a safe food supply. Therefore, we need to measure and document those controls that are implemented. I hope you can learn from these HACCP videos and then apply these HACCP concepts to your product or process. HACCP does not stand alone. We need to keep in mind that HACCP along with prerequisite programs are part of the overall food safety system. Prerequisite programs include good manufacturing practices or GMPs, standard operating procedures, SOPs, and Sanitation Standard Operating Procedures, SSOPs. HACCP is built atop the solid foundation of those prerequisite programs. HACCP is very much a preventative approach to food safety. We need to protect the food against potential hazards, which include biological, chemical, or physical. We can protect the food against these hazards by first of all identifying food safety related problems that are related to the product or the processes that we go through to create that food product, and then determine specific factors that can be controlled to prevent these problems from actually occurring. Then we can establish a system that can measure and document whether or not these factors are being controlled properly. HACCP stands for Hazard Analysis Critical Control Points. HACCP is very much a proactive approach to food safety versus reactive. It is designed to identify hazards that could occur, establish controls for those hazards, and then mon monitoring those control measures that we put in place. The HACCP program controls factors that affect the ingredients, the product itself, or the process. Where and how hazards can occur are determined through the hazard analysis. And then proof of control of the processes and conditions are arrived at through the critical control points. There are seven principles of HACCP. First, we need to conduct a hazard analysis. Then we would identify critical control points, establish critical limits for the critical control points as principle three, Principle four is to establish monitoring procedures and then establish corrective actions in principle five, establish verification procedures in principle six, and establish record keeping procedures in principle seven.